Welcome to the world of Dr. Zhivago, a 1965 cinematic gem that unfolds against the backdrop of the Russian Revolution. Directed by David Lean, this epic drama follows the life of Yuri Zhivado, a poet and physician caught in the tumultuous waves of historical change. The film navigates the complexities of love, war, and societal upheaval with an ensemble cast led by Omar Sharif in the titular role. For many, the magnetic performances of classic Hollywood actors such as Julie Christie, or Alec Guinness stand out, each adding depth to the intricate narrative. Their portrayal of characters amidst the storm of political unrest offers a compelling lens through which to explore human resilience in times of turmoil. Dr. Zhivago has left an indelible mark on audiences, stirring emotions and provoking thoughts about the human condition. Its sweeping landscapes and poignant storytelling have inspired countless viewers, prompting reflection on personal values, love, and the pursuit of purpose. What is your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share how Dr. Zhivago has impacted your life or stirred something within you. The 1965 movie Dr. Zhivago featured a salon concert scene where a Sergei Rachmaninoff prelude played, tying a personal connection to Boris Pasternak's family. Rachmaninoff, a renowned composer, was a friend of the Pasternak family. This musical inclusion adds depth to the film, highlighting the personal connection between the composer and the author. Despite the movie's diverse international cast, it notably lacked Russian actors or those of Russian heritage. This absence might have affected the authenticity of the portrayal of Russian characters, given the story's setting in revolutionary Russia. The choice to not include Russian actors might have influenced the perspective and reception of the film, altering the portrayal of the character's cultural nuances. Initially, producer Carlo Ponti aimed to cast his wife, Sophia Loren, as Lara in the film. However, director David Lean believed Loren was too tall for the role. This casting conflict sheds light on the intricacies involved in selecting actors and actresses for specific roles, emphasizing the director's vision and the challenges faced in bringing a character to life on screen. These aspects, such as the musical ties to Rachmaninoff, the absence of Russian actors, and the casting considerations, offer insight into the making of the 1965 movie Dr. Zhivago, showcasing the complexities involved in adapting a novel to the big screen and the decisions shaping the final cinematic product. David Lean, the director of the 1965 movie Dr. Zhivago, had a specific vision for the film's musical theme. He sought a Russian melody that would encapsulate the essence of the story set in revolutionary Russia. Despite initial challenges in securing the desired piece, Morris Jar eventually crafted what would become known as Lara's theme. This iconic composition, born out of a directive to Jar to immerse himself in a romantic weekend getaway, became an integral part of the movie's emotional landscape. During the tumultuous shoot of the 1965 movie Dr. Zhivago, director David Lean faced unexpected challenges behind the scenes. Before the cameras rolled, Lean had a major falling out with the original director of photography, Nicholas Rogue, due to creative differences. This clash led to Freddie Young taking over the role, necessitating an additional two weeks of reshooting scenes already captured by Rogue. Amidst the complex production, actor Omar Sharif, initially interested in the role of Pavel Antipov, surprised Lean by expressing his desire for the title role. Lean, impressed by Sharif's request, ultimately cast him as the lead character, further shaping the film's ensemble. The challenges extended beyond creative disputes. Dr. Zhivago was filmed in Spain during General Francisco Franco's regime. An incident during the shoot added an unexpected layer of tension when, during a scene featuring a crowd chanting a Marxist theme at 0 a.m., police mistook the staged revolution for a real one. The authorities insisted on remaining on set until the scene concluded, contributing to an unintentional blend of fiction and reality. Local residents, awakened by the international being sung, even mistakenly believed that Franco had met his end. These behind-the-scenes anecdotes offer a glimpse into the intricate and sometimes precarious process of bringing Dr. Zhivago to life on screen. From conflicts among the film crew to the unintentional blending of fiction and reality on set, the production of this cinematic classic was marked by both creative and logistical challenges. 
Impressed by Geraldine Chaplin's audition, David Lean deviated from his initial plan of casting Audrey Hepburn as Tanya in the 1965 movie Dr. Zhivago. Lean, known for his decisive choices, immediately selected Chaplin for the role. This casting decision added a unique dynamic to the film as Chaplin's performance contributed to the ensemble that shaped Lean's vision. The unexpected turn of events in casting is just one example of the intricacies involved in bringing Dr. Zhivago to the screen. This behind-the-scenes glimpse showcases Lean's willingness to adapt and make choices that would impact the final cinematic product, demonstrating the dynamic nature of film production. Critics initially lambasted the 1965 movie Dr. Zhivago, citing hack job sets and pallid photography. The director, David Lean, faced harsh criticism that deeply affected him, swearing off future filmmaking. However, propelled by MGM's marketing and positive word of mouth, the movie emerged as the second highest grossing film of 1965, trailing only the sound of music. Despite its rocky start, Dr. Zhivago earned 10 Academy Award nominations, winning five categories, including Best Picture and Director. This success restored Lean's confidence, leading to subsequent projects like Ryan's Daughter in 1970, which faced a disastrous reception, and a 14-year hiatus before a passage to India in 1984. This journey from initial critique to cinematic triumph sheds light on the resilience of Dr. Zhivago, proving that even amidst adversity, a film can rise to acclaim and stand the test of time. The soundtrack of the 1965 movie Dr. Zhivago, composed by Morris Jarre, achieved remarkable success, selling over 600,000 copies during the film's initial release. This accomplishment underscores the profound impact of the musical score on the audience. A hauntingly beautiful Lara's theme, crafted by Jar, became an integral part of the movie's emotional landscape, resonating with viewers and contributing to the film's enduring appeal. The success of the soundtrack reflects the meticulous effort invested in capturing the essence of revolutionary Russia through music. Jar's composition not only complemented the narrative but also transcended the confines of the film, captivating listeners and earning widespread acclaim. The soaring sales numbers highlight the broader cultural significance of the music from Dr. Zhivago, making it a key element in the movie's legacy. The soundtrack's popularity adds a unique dimension to the behind-the-scenes intricacies of Dr. Zhivago. Beyond the challenges faced during filming, the musical component emerged as a standout feature, leaving an indelible mark on the cinematic experience. As the soundtrack resonated with audiences, it became a powerful force in shaping the film's reception and contributing to its eventual triumph. In the tapestry of Dr. Zhivago's production, the soundtrack stands out as a testament to the film's ability to transcend visual storytelling. The enduring popularity of Lara's theme, with its evocative melodies, further solidifies the movie's status as a timeless classic that resonates not only visually, but also through the power of music. As we bid adieu to this cinematic journey through the captivating landscapes of Dr. Zhivago, let the echoes of the past linger in your thoughts. The year 1965 birthed a masterpiece, a tapestry of love, revolution, and unyielding spirit. As you reflect on the poignant tale of Yuri Zhivago and Lara Antipova, what strings of emotion resonate within your own narrative? Perhaps, in the quiet moments, you find yourself lost in the snow-covered expanse of the Russian steppes, or maybe the haunting melody of Morris Jar's score still lingers in the recesses of your mind. Did you witness your own heart's revolution unfold amidst the backdrop of this timeless classic? The intricacies of love and the relentless pursuit of one's truth are universal, transcending the confines of a particular era or setting. Now, I extend an invitation to you, dear reader, to share your reflections, your cherished moments, and the fragments of Dr. Zhivago that have taken residence in your soul. Let this be a collective celebration of the beauty that cinema, at its zenith, can carve into our lives. In the symphony of life, where does Dr. Zhivago find its place in your heart? What emotions does it stir? What memories does it awaken? Your stories are the threads that weave a richer tapestry around this cinematic gem. Thank you for sharing this journey through time and emotion. Your thoughts are the brush strokes that add vibrant hues to the canvas of our collective experience. Until we embark on the next cinematic odyssey, may the echoes of Dr. Zhivago linger in the corridors of your reflections. Appreciatively, 